So, now we start to paint together. Um, I use a watercolor paper. I several times try to paint on canvas and I have to say I don't like to paint on canvas. I I'm more happy to use a watercolor paper because I love smooth surface surface and the canvas is not so smooth like this. So I will show you my favorite paper is is the watercolor paper Fabriano Artistico Satinato and that paper is 640 gram. It's really heavy. It's like a cardboard. When I use this um, during the painting process, my surface stay flat. I love this. And satinato means that it is um, a hot pressed paper, so the surface is really smooth. But when you but you don't have to use this paper. This is expensive. I, from time to time, or when I begin to paint abstract painting, I always use watercolor paper with 300 gram or more. This is also good. This is also really nice to use. There it gives also hot pressed paper. Then you have a smooth surface. When you but that also exists um, textured papers. This that is a personal choice. For me, the best is smooth paper. And then for stick, this is a board I made for myself. And then when I before I paint. <coughs> I use this Uhu Patafix and in each edge I take one of them and stick it on this board. And so I can paint as I like it. So now let's let's start. Because I have greens and Van Dyke, orangey and blue one on my palette to paint after. I use um, mark making tools in these colors. Here I use an aqua one. This is a Derwent ink tent. I make this mark free. Then I think orange was also good. Make another mark. <coughs> then the art graph. It's chaotic, <laughs> I know. And I want a blue one. And, yeah, and now the charcoal. I know it's really chaotic, but it's good. You will see after. And then I have also this greenish charcoal. So maybe some sticks some pencils without thinking make make it chaotic it's fun so I know it's chaotic, but we will cover up a lot of them. That's my way to paint. Now 
I use my acrylic satin and mix these colors. And as you know, after making this with the medium, the charcoal, the derwents and the art crafts are water resist. Here I like it when it gives blendings. This is a part that I really love because it surprised me often what mixings I see there after. This is the art glass. I want always mixing. So the black one. Okay. The greenish, where is the green? So I try it again here. This is also something you can do. Now I let it in this way, it's chaotic, but I know when I paint now with colors, then I will cover a lot of them, but a lot of them will shining true. Let's begin. So, intuitively I take a dark color. Oh really interesting. I love this bold stroke. That's the way I begin. I take a color and give it on the paper. This is the Van Eyck Brown. Now I mix it on the paper with a little bit of Perusian blue. I don't know how to say this good in English. Perusian blue. I think it's Perusian blue. So. Don't waste any color. I always make line. Clean it up on the paper. So. Now I want to say something. This is my darkest uh, value. And the darkest value will be the composition. Here at the moment I have the composition in this way here. So but that not will be stay. But here is the darkest color and now I will come in with other colors. I don't know. You can make this. It's, it's also fun. I make this often. So. And now I change my tool. Really intuitive. Take the color on your palette. You don't have to think about mixing color now because you have mixed it at the beginning of painting. 
<laughs> I don't know why it's this. That's good. It stays flat, but I don't stick it very well. That's the reason why it makes this. That's the show effect. Good. Now I take this color. Mix it on the... Mix the color on the paper. if I like it, but I want to use them. Change always my tools from brush to spatula, from spatula to shapers, and mix the colors wet in wet. This is really joy to do that. Make different uh, moves. It's the moment that I have to stop because the color is really too wet now. A little bit of this color I Now it's the moment for me to make lines with the long handled brush. No, not thinking, only doing and enjoy it. Enjoy how the brush glides on the surface. So maybe I want to use another color to make these lines. Yes, I want to use a white one. Because my white is really liquid I use there, I can take this and not the ink. Also here, without thinking on the doing, only enjoy it, 
how the marks will be there on the picture. Okay, I love also a little bit of this color. <clears throat> I have this great two keys mixing. I want also integrate in this picture. Something of this line will show true after, something not. I don't know. I play. I have so much fun to play. Oh, a little bit of this color. This is, it's a great color. I love, love this one at the moment. When you love something, then I recommend you do more of this. Because I love this color at the moment, I do more with this color. So this one I don't like so much. So I do this. Really bold. Yes, this color is really great. I love it. So here, I want a little bit of this color. So, okay. You see how playful it can be to apply color. Now I think we let it dry. Yes, this is, is it, now it's really wet. I let dry it. And now you see here are lines. You see through. This is from the first step, but a lot of lines I have made uh, you don't see it at the moment, but the first step with um, mark making with charcoal, there went and pencils um, gives really a nice showing through. For me, that's always so great. I love this. And oh, here you can always doing this and. When the paint is wet, it's also playful. And now you see about the values. Here are the darkest value. Also here, here and there. The lines also. Um, this is at the moment my lightest value. But also this is a light value. This. And here it's a middle value. It's really interest when uh, the, it makes the painting more interesting when you play with this value contrasts dark middle values middle values here and light values here and you your eyes the few the eyes from the viewer uh, see at first the dark values and then the middle values or the light values if the light values is white like here at the moment i haven't really much white there but that will change in the next uh, steps so i let try it and we see you in the next step we see us in the next step excuse me for my english but i think you will understand all of what I say and what I do. Well, I make a break. We will see us later.